Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja and today I'm going to show you nasi goreng. This is a this is basically fried rice from Indonesia and I got this recipe from Bali from a chef and his name is Sudabo and he was sweet enough to share his recipe with me and let me into his kitchen. That's exactly where I got the recipe for the sambal and the recipe for this nasi goreng. So, let's just get down to it. So this nursi goreng serves four people and over here I have two tablespoons of oil and I'm going to add in two tablespoons of butter to it. And this is really honestly his recipe exactly how he makes it so we're going to just let it melt. Okay, while it's still melting I'm going to add in two tablespoons of garlic minced. Just cook it. Now I'm going to make it uh, non-vegetarian. I'm going to add a little bit of chicken but I'm also going to eat, uh, add in vegetables. So for the people who don't um, eat chicken you can just skip this step totally. Two thighs that I've chopped up into strips I'm going to add it in. I'm just going to let it cook. The flame needs to be on a higher side and you're just going to let the chicken cook a little bit. Thin strips as you can see. So as soon as it, the chicken turns white, I'm going to add in one egg beaten and just mix it in. Lovely. Again, if you don't eat eggs, skip this step. And once the egg is cooked, I have uh, one cup of rice that I had made and cooked plain white rice with no salt. I'm going to add it in. It's cold. It's from yesterday. So it's kind of uh, good because it does it you know the rice doesn't break when you're making fried rice from it. So the previous day's rice works out fantastic for this recipe. I'm going to mix it in. I'm going to allow the rice to heat up all the way through. And then we're going to add in a little bit of salt, black pepper. Now I've got this sweet Indonesian soy sauce. So you can get that from any of your stores that have uh, any kind of uh, products from Indonesia or from that part of the, of the world. You're going to use about 3 teaspoons of the sweet Indonesian sauce. Now if you don't have this or don't have access to this, you can easily add in soy sauce and add a little bit of sugar. Oh, looks lovely. The sweet soy sauce has coated the rice. I'm going to add in lots of vegetables. I got about half a cup packed of cabbage, finely shredded. Now if you're a vegetarian, you can have a field day over here. I'm going to add some beans. So about again half cup. I'm using lots of veggies because it just tastes wonderful. I'm using about quarter cup of carrots, again finely shredded and I'm using about a quarter of a bell pepper, again cut fine. Now this is absolutely optional, I've got some tofu so I'm going to add that as well and mix. Once the veggies are mixed in, they don't really need to be cooked a whole lot. The last but not the least, we have the sambal. Now if you do not have access to sambal, homemade at home, you can also use the one from the store. Absolutely fine. So you're going to just add how much ever sambal you want to taste. And give it one final mix. and turn off the flame. So the fried rice is ready. I checked on the salt and the seasoning and everything is perfect. And the other aspect to Nursi Goreng signature is an, a fried egg on top. So I've got a little skillet over here and I've just got a little bit of oil uh, that I need to fry an egg. Meanwhile, I'm just going to plate this. So I'm going to put it in here. Just take my plate there you 
go. And once the oil is hot, I'm going to break and just fry an egg. Season the egg with a little bit of salt if you like. And I'm going to add a little bit of my red chili powder on it. And once it's done, turn off the stove. And I'm going to put it, put it on top of the rice. Garnish with some additional sambal if you like, but it's ready to dig into. Now how good does that look? Tell me you're not envying me at this point. So I'm going to give it a shot. Mm. So simple, so flavorful. Mm. Absolutely divine. So I'm going to thank Chef Sadabo once again for this awesome recipe and thank you for letting me into your kitchen. It was absolutely a delight and enjoy your nursery goreng. If you like this video and you'd like to see more from us, please don't forget to subscribe and join us again on another episode of showmethecurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. <laughs>